Good morning. My name is Nimrod Kaufman. I'm the CEO of Inspiro Medical. Did you know that every day in the United States, 44,000 people have asthma attack, and about 5,000 people visit the emergency room? Unfortunately, many of these people simply do not use their inhalers effectively. Inspiro Medical is developing an innovative dry powder inhaler that solves these problems. Dry powder inhalation is the most common treatment today for asthma and COPD in adults. Dry powder inhalers. These are the gold standard. More than 120 million dry powder inhalers are prescribed every year. The market is huge. It's an $18 billion market with a growth rate of 12%. Still, the dry powder inhalers have few major drawbacks that result in failure to deliver the drug effectively to many patients' lungs. Dry powder inhalers require a forceful inhalation in order to deliver the drug effectively to the patient's lungs. Many patients who suffer from lung disease are unable to generate enough flow rate. They are not able to inhale forceful enough to deliver the drug effectively to their lungs. In addition, dry powder inhaler requires strict use technique. Many of the patients find it too difficult to follow the instructions that are required to use the device correctly. And compliance. Compliance is a major issue. Research showed that only one out of three patients keep using the device after three months' maintenance. With this poor delivery system, everybody loses. The physicians spend a lot of time treating uh, their patients without knowing if symptoms remain because the drug doesn't work or their patients are not using the device correctly. Physicians today do not have enough information to make reliable decisions for follow-up. The economic burden is high. Patients who suffer from uncontrolled disease are hospitalized often. This increases insurance costs in more than $2,000 per patient annually. And the patients, what about the patients? They suffer, they are frustrated, they do not receive the treatment they need. We designed the Inspiro dry powder inhaler to overcome these problems uh, and deliver the drug effectively to all patients. The Inspiro dry powder inhaler consists of an active mechanism that eliminates the need for, for, for forceful inhalation. Uh, in addition, the, the Inspiro inhaler consists of a real-time feedback interface that guides the patient in real time and assures proper use. For the, uh, in order to increase compliance, there's a built-in data logger. It stores all the necessary data when the patient uses the device. The physician can access and review this data in order to make sure that the prescribed drug is taken and delivered successfully. So does it work? We've conducted an in vitro study. The study was done according to the US PharmaCompare guidelines. Uh, the study compared the Inspiro dry powder inhaler to the gold standard a Novartis dry powder inhaler. We used the same drug capsules in, a, in both devices. Uh, this chart here shows how deep was the drug delivered into the, into the lung. Uh, this study clearly shows that the Inspiro inhaler delivered the drug more effectively to the deep lung. And this is not all. Even when we reduced the inhalation force by half still the Inspiro inhaler delivered the drug better. This study clearly proves that there is no need for forceful inhalation in, all, uh, uh, in order to deliver the drug effectively with the Inspiro dry powder inhaler. Based on these excellent results, we received the Israeli uh, Ministry of Health approval for our first clinical trial. This trial is uh, running these days here in Israel at Schneider Medical Center. 30 asthmatic uh, patients, 30 asthmatic children are using the Inspiro dry powder inhaler. 
Uh, all this is done in a double-blind, placebo-controlled crossover study. As I said at the beginning, the market is huge. Here you can see the top three uh, products for asthma and COPD in the market today, with a total uh, annual sales of $14 billion. Our device can be used to deliver these type of formulations better, as well as uh, other uh, uh, indications like cystic fibrosis and more. We seek $1.2 million for our device development and to conduct more clinical trials. Thank you very much. I'll be happy to uh, meet you after this session and uh, discuss more about this exciting product. Okay, thank you, Nimrod.